The aim of the Vessel Valuation Tutorial is for you to use a practical exercise to learn how to access investments or purchasing vessels. The following video recording assumes that you're already familiar with the tutorial exercise question, which is available in resources. And what follows is an explanation of how the consultant has derived his recommendations by implementing the formula of NPV in Excel. We have all the information here. Initial value, risk free rate, risk premium. Discounting is what will be useful and this is how it is calculated. And all the other information from the tutorial exercise question has been put here on the spreadsheet. And here is our cash flow over a period of 20 years. This is based on the fact that we are assessing a five-year-old vessel and we are assuming that the lifespan of a vessel is 25 years. The key information for the table is explained here. The initial payment in year zero is minus 68 million and we generate the cash flow here for 20 years. We can see the formula in each cell if we click on it and is based on the scenario that we are building. If we look at the first one, we can see that it is multiplying operating days by the average scenario. The NPV suggests that the fair value of the ship is $100,791,492. This sum is above the $68 million that the investor will pay and provides a net of almost $33 million, and so it is a good investment. If we base it on the worst scenario, now we can see that the fair value is below the initial value, meaning that this investment is a loss of nearly $13 million, in which case the investor should not make the investment. Going back, to the calculations, after earnings, similarly, we have operating costs, which are fixed. Amount of 5,000 multiplied by the number of days in the year. And then we have the discount rate. We are discounting for every year. We have a discount factor, and the discount factor for the present value is the same, but the money earned one year from now is worth less today because you could invest this based on a discount rate. This is what you are going to earn at the end of the year. Discounted today and it drops in value. If we sum up all these vessels, we get the fair value because this is the current value of the ship. And if we add the initial payment to it, we get the NPV. On the last year, we calculate the residual value as well because the investor will cash in on the scrap value of the ship in addition to the earnings. This calculation is based on these three scenarios. We are multiplying the ship's tonnage by the value of each ton. For this calculation, we do not use the deadweight tonnage, but the light displacement. By implementing what we have explained step by step, the consultant arrives at the following recommendations. Based on the worst scenario, the recommendation is not to invest. Do not buy the vessel as the fair value is below the market value. But based on the average and best scenarios, the recommendation is to invest because the fair value of the vessel is above the market value.